Manifest Greatness vlog number 10 with my boy, the one and only Eddie, Eddie Mac. Yeah, know. Repping Dansville. I appreciate this cat coming out and doing this interview with me. Uh, long story short, I met him uh, about what, like eight months ago at football. You know, he's a running back. I'm a running back, so you know, we had a lot of competition at first coming up. But besides football, football was whatever. But I learned a lot about life just being around this dude and seeing the way he carries himself. He's really a man, man amongst boys. Uh, being the UC, being a, a dormitory, a lot of kids is still, you know, young, so they do young stuff. But he, he an older cat, so it's cool seeing how an older cat move around and not being the only older cat like that. And I actually have a couple questions. For actually, can you give a little background to my audience just about who you are, where you come from? All that kind of stuff. My name is Melvin Clark, and I'm from Danville, Illinois. I play football, basketball, pretty much any sport I can play. But I enjoy playing football most of all, and I love giving back to the community. Yes, sir. So, uh, before you got to RMU, what kind of lifestyle were you living? I grew up in the streets. I grew up in the streets. It was it was real. It was rough. Like everybody else that come up struggling, going through a lot, different things, a little bit of everything. I, I know as y'all can see with the Chicago skyline right behind us and stuff too, so yeah. And uh, what was it like what what was it that made you change? That 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 switched you from, you know, was that a certain like was that a certain day or something? Well, it was a lot of things that made me change. Um, most of all, the day when I got shot and almost lost my life, I would think that would have been a, the day after I woke up the next day and realized that hey, there's more to life than just what's going on right here. And uh, if you got an opportunity to do something, take advantage of it, and if you got dreams, try to fulfill them. Yeah. So that was the day that made me realize that the streets wasn't what so wasn't time. for me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It was it was fun while it lasted, like for everybody else, you know. Some people lose out, they they die or go to jail. And I'm mm -hmm. blessed enough to get out the situation with just getting shot and learning from my experience and taking it, making the most of it. Yeah. And you said when you got shot that uh, it opened up your eyes to be able to live your dreams. To live my dream, to see life. So so I, what, what are your dreams? My dream is one day to go to the NFL. And if I don't go to the NFL, my backup plan is to own my own car lot. Uh huh. So. What's your boss do? He worked at a, a shop in uh, Danville, Illinois. We actually own a shop. He don't work at a shop. We own a shop in Danville, Illinois. Uh -huh. So, yeah. That's what's up. So, you got your family, family connections already in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Oh, yeah. So, if you didn't play football, what do you think you'll be doing right now? I'd be out there. In the streets, mm -hmm. trying to get money. If I'm not trying to get money, I'm trying to get girls. Mm -hmm. You know the regular street street lifestyle. Yeah, you know what come with it. Yeah, and that's one thing for me personally too. Coming up in LA, um, I realized that football was the one vehicle that got me. I'm not gonna say got me my success, but kept my head on straight because it wasn't for football. That you know, tell them where I would be at right now in terms of I would be out and about just chasing girls in the streets, woo -woo -woo. but but having to go to practice at three o'clock, get back at nine o'clock, got homework due tomorrow. It's like you ain't got time for all that. So that football structure that that it gave you gave a lot of us that really helped out and stuff too. So even though I didn't get incarcerated or anything, that helped me just stay focused on what I had to stay focused on, you know. And I also got a couple questions here too. Um, do you have any advice? My cousin, for example, uh, he got locked up. He's out now. He's working at a uh, car room over in Columbus, Ohio. He's playing football and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm saying, do you have any advice for someone who's just who's just getting out and they still have that ambition to play football? But you know, it's kind of hard once you got that. You know what's up? Well, it's like when you hit a point in your life where you can feel like it's like over for you, you know, and you know, going to jail. I've been to jail, so I know the experience and I know how I feel. And when I was in there, I thought that like my life was over. 
So I expect like when I get out, like what what can I do different? Like what what can I do to go make the situation better? Or how how can I do something different to make the situation better? In your head, you're thinking that it's not possible. But logically thinking about it, it's possible. So if you put your mind to it, first thing is put your mind to it. Once you put your mind to it, it's nothing nobody can do to stop it. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. I don't care what it is. If you put your mind to it, and, it, and if it's achievable, yeah. you're going to reach your goal. It's overcoming the, op- the uh, mental obstacles of, of what you've been through. Yeah. But that the thing about it, if you just came home from, from prison or any type of jail system or anything like that, the first thing is to, to get a goal. You got to figure out what it is you want to do. And once you figure out head. what it is that you want to do, yeah. you take advantage of it. Yeah. And you make the most of it. Okay. I feel you on that, definitely. Manifest Greatness Vlog number 10. My boy, Eddie Clark. We signing off from Chicago. I appreciate you, baby. Appreciate you, too, bro. Anybody got any questions, want to hit up my boy, I'll drop this email address. You know, feel free to contact him. All that. Don't be scared to chase your dreams. Live life. Have fun. Try to be successful. That's the, that's the that's the main keys to life. If you're not doing that, you're not even living. You just existing. You gotta live. Word up, for real. Manifest greatness vlog. That goes right into my vlog too. Manifest greatness vlog. Get out your comfort zone. And do what the fuck you're meant to do. Not what makes you money. All right, I got you. You got to make money. But what you're meant to do. Your purpose here on earth. You feel me? You want to make that at once. One shot. That's all you get. Yeah, sorry. You get a chance. You get a chance. Don't quit. Don't quit. Oh, yeah. That's it for him. I appreciate you, bro. Real tight. Appreciate you too. Bro. Honestly, I'm, I'm keeping it hundred real quick. All right, I learned more from this dude than, than anything. I'm young. I'm a younger cat and all that, but I'm saying that he lived more life than me. He's done more than me in life. So I really learned a lot just by being around this dude. So I really appreciate him for that. And it's not like I have much to add. Some most of my videos will see me adding on, talking, you know, going deep into stuff. But this dude, I just let him just take over. I'm just like, Chill. damn, <laughs> yeah. Like, and he right. You feel me? So it's a, it's a little different, but it's like, for real, I appreciate it for that, you know? There's not a lot of guys out there like that. And that's going to say, yeah, live your life and go out there and do your thing. They will, they will tell you, oh, there's rules in place and you, you do it. And it's, it's, yeah, I understand the rules and all that, but fuck all that. Do what you are meant to do. Live your, live your, live your life. God gave you a purpose on earth. Fulfill that purpose. Fulfill that I, really purpose. Be, I really believe that. It might be scary. It's going to be scary, you know, but... Shit don't have you in your comfort zone, man. For real. Hell yeah. Manifest Greatness, vlog number 10. We out. We out.